Hey everyone, welcome back to BPT Welding. Today we're going to have a look at a few different types of tungsten and what their uses are and uh, what I personally use. We're just going to go over all that and uh, hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a better idea of what you should be using with your machine and uh, on the material that you're welding. So today I have uh, three different packages of tungstens here. Um, I did have four, but I uh, went down to just using these three because I only had three of these serrated uh, tungstens left and I wanted to keep them as neat as possible. Um, the main four tungstens I run are 2% thoriated, I run 2% lanthanated, I run 2% serrated, and I run some of these quad four tungstens from HDP. Um, they're all very good and they all have their own specific uses. I mainly use the thoriated tungsten when I'm doing steel or stainless steel and I need a good crisp bark start. And uh, I mainly use lanthanated and serrated when I'm working on aluminum. I find that the serrated works a little bit better on the transformer machines and lanthanated works a little bit better on my inverter machines. It's all going to be subjective to what you're doing. And then I also use these quad tungstens. Um, they work good on my transformer machine over there, the uh, 275 when I need to uh, work on some tricky material, um, mostly dirty aluminum works really good on. I have used some of these other ones over here. I have my little list here. Apologize for the sloppy handwriting, but anyway, um, we've got pure, thoriated, seriated, lanthanated, quad four, and trimix. Um, there are a lot of companies that have their own proprietary blends of trimix and quad four. Um, I've only used one variation of the trimix and one variation of the quad four. I use HDP's Quad 4 here at the shop, and the shop I worked for used the Trimix. Um, the Trimix is very comparable to the Quad 4. Um, very comparable to the Quad 4. It's uh, you know pretty much the same. I can't tell the difference when I'm running it. Um, they're both very good for aluminum, and uh, I've used them both on steel. I've used the Trimix a lot on stainless steel. Um, they're really good tungstens if you're doing. Uh, ACDC on either transformers or inverters, so you can have these as you know your main tungsten for your shop if you want to. Um, that seems to be the thing nowadays is people making new tungstens that work for all different kinds of uh, materials and uh, machine output. <clears throat> anyway, we've got uh, lanthanated and seriated. Those are both very good at AC and DC steel and aluminum um, on both transformers and inverters too. So I mean these four tungstens here are similar. Um, the seriated and the lanthanated are more mainstream now. Um, but like I said, they're they're both good on steel and aluminum and stainless. And uh, I have a lot of seriated here at the shop as well as some lanthanated. Uh, and then back to thoriated here. Uh, that was used uh, quite a bit in the industry for doing steel and stainless and a few other materials. Mainly because it's got a long life, um, good arc starts, and uh, it was just the popular thing to have 2% thoriated tungstens. Um, they do have some health risks um, involved. Um, you can look that up on the internet and find a whole bunch of stuff on it. Um, and then of course up here we have pure tungstens. Um, I hate these. We use them a lot at the shop I used to work for, and uh, they're just not my favorite thing because they crack, uh, split. They also um, foul really easily and you dip it one time and they're just done. I also just found out about zirconiated tungsten. I had to do a little research on this one. Um, I haven't actually used it in the shop um, on project or a repair um, on either an inverter or a transformer machine. Um, it sounds like it's mostly just uh, AC only tungsten and uh, from what I'm reading online right now um, when I'm doing my research for this video it sounds like it's uh, very bad for doing DC or blark starts um, and stuff like that. So I wouldn't really use that here at the shop unless I was doing a whole bunch of aluminum welding. It sounds like it's a kind of tungsten where if you dip it um, you know, lightly or maybe a whole lot, I don't really know, you can get you know a lot more time out of it versus having to go grind it every five minutes. Um, so that could also be a, another avenue for you to uh, you know look into. Um, if you're looking for a good tungsten for your particular application job. Um, tungsten isn't cheap, so I usually 
try to buy what um, works best for me so I'm not throwing a whole bunch of tungsten out. And uh, But that's the rundown on the tungstens that I use and the tungstens that are out there in the market. Um, there are a lot of companies that have their own proprietary Trimix and Quad 4 and so you just kind of have to um, be careful what you buy and uh, you know usually sticking to serrated and lanthanated um, will do you very good. So I hope that answers some questions for you guys, um, especially if you're new out there and you're not exactly knowing what to get. Um, if you get serrated you should be fine no matter what you do. AC, DC, transformer, inverter, anything. So I thank you guys for watching, please go check out our channel. And we'll see you.